Now to bridge the gap between yesterday's end of the group stage and tomorrow starting the round of 16, I thought about two videos. Uh, the one is probably the last review I make on the group stage, uh, which is reviewing the Jersey matchups and where I've been wrong and maybe some opinions uh, there. So I want to run through all the groups and look at it once more. And then I'll do something very, very similar previewing the round of 16 in the next video. But let's go first to the review right. with group A. Here we are, first three matchups. Um, and already in the first game I had my first mistake. I really thought that Saudi Arabia will play in white. I guess because of the white pants going with Russia, uh, they decided to make them play in green. And yes, I understand it. Um, and it was not a, not a bad matchup. The problem I have with green jerseys is that, you know, to um, against the green grass, especially if you play in all green, there's not too much contrast. So, but you know, I, overall I could understand it and it probably saved us from the first red-white matchup, which we got in the next game. I got it all right, so this is all bold. As you can see, I give here my percentages and I was so sure this is white, but yeah, I didn't think about the um, pants in this matchup and, and the socks. And unfortunately, this is a, a thread throughout my wrong predictions and I try to be more mindful about the whole kit in my jersey predictions for round two and probably beyond. So it was clear that Egypt will play in the home kit and Uruguay in the away kit and then we had of course uh, the red Egypt will clash with the red Russia so it was clear that this was a white kit. Um, going to the last three um, that one was spot on. I really expected Uruguay to be playing in uh, blue and Saudi Arabia then. Although I think that the red would contrast, uh, the green could contrast well with the blue, the white I think provides the better contrast there. Uh, and same goes also for Uruguay Russia. I was here a little bit afraid and that's why only the 90% uh, that they might have them play against uh, in red and I think it would even work. Um, I know this dark blue is seen as the so-called dark color for Uruguay, but having the light blue against the red with white pants and here the Uruguay with black pants, I think it would create enough contrast to make it a nice matchup. Um, again, if you look at it from a black and white perspective, and I really hope that FIFA is not doing that anymore, we are in 21st century, but um, I have a some suspicion that they just might do that, although it's not consistent. Uh, but yeah, I would have loved to see here a color versus color, not um, blue versus a white matchup. And then the one that I got wrong, um, and I don't get it uh, to this day, I think Saudi Arabia plays at home in white and Egypt plays in red, so that they switched the jerseys here was a little bit of a surprise, but you know, <laughs> you cannot win them all. So overall, I have three errors in group A. And I'm gonna put this down. Let's see how accurate my predictions actually are. So we have three out of 12 in group A. Group B. That was projected to be one of the more boring groups matchup-wise because it was all red versus white. And thankfully we had the green pants from Morocco that saved uh, two matchups here. So I got the first two uh, correct, which was not a big surprise, but then suddenly Portugal plays in white and Morocco plays in the home jersey. Although Portugal is a designated home team, I've said it many times on my videos on that game and afterwards. I don't quite understand it, but yeah, this is the matchup we got. It looked overall fine, it was just funny that Morocco looked more like a Portugal than Portugal actually did. And then uh, the, I also got it wrong in, uh, for the matchup in Kazan between the Iran and, uh, and Spain. Um, again, there was some, in, uh, some 
thoughts that there might be too much clash somehow. I don't get it either. I think Iran should play in white, that's their home jersey, and Spain should have played in red. Um, but again, we saw an unusual matchup that was not expected. And we saw the Spain kit, Spain away kit already twice. Maybe FIFA liked it so much. At least in the last round, we got the matchups we wanted. Uh, the odd thing is, of course, that these shoulders here were supposedly supposedly um, color clashing with the Portugal shoulders. I don't get it because I think if there's a clash, it's more between those two. Uh, and it was no problem watching it during the game. So um, that makes it four wrong out of 12. So moving on, group C was, there was another stunner in there. Overall, I'm getting more right than wrong, but I mean, that's to be expected. I, it's more like those really weird matchups that you kind of want to predict, but you don't really dare. Um, France, Australia, exactly as predicted, um, but France had uh, blue socks, which, yeah, I don't get why. Uh, Peru, Denmark was the classic predicted matchup, and then we had Denmark, Australia, where red, this red versus this yellow was seemingly clashing. So we got the white versus the dark green matchup. So I got that one completely wrong. And I think I was not the only one. I actually think we should, uh, there should be bets on which jerseys the teams will play. Uh, then for the red, a uh, fair rest, not the red. <laughs> for the rest, uh, we got, uh, I got, it, got five jerseys right. I just uh, didn't expect Peru to play Australia in red. Don't know why, it makes totally sense that they play in red. I also thought that white could contrast very well there, but again, I think there's, uh, that is not a contentious one. And you saw already that I said there's maybe a chance that Peru will play in their red kits. So 3 out of 12 in this group as well. Yeah, we see already a pattern for the hit and miss rate going on. Also, uh, if you look at the matches, we have blue and yellow, we have white and red twice, we have blue and white once, we have white and green, and we have uh, red versus yellow. So those are also, um, this group was kind of colorful overall, with not too many repeats, especially as compared to the previous one. Now, Group D, that, that's actually a very colorful group. Unfortunately, not all choices are perfect. So we have the first stunner for me, uh, Argentina, Iceland. Uh, FIFA seemingly doesn't like blues clashing, uh, even if it's the light blue. And I think it will perfectly work uh, that this Argentina shirt goes with this Iceland shirt against this Iceland shirt. I think this is a perfect combination. Uh, and would look actually nice. So yeah, but we had those higher contrast matchup. I give it to them, but still I would have loved to see um, the traditional colors. Croatia and Nigeria was all right. I had a thought that they might switch the Croatia shirt. The Croatia shirt is the one, the Croatia home shirt is the one that we'll rarely see because Seemingly the red and white checkers make a lot of problems, especially uh, in European competition where so many teams play in red and have a white alternate, then Croatia is almost forced to always play in the blue, uh, their blue alternate jersey. Argentina, Croatia, that was to be expected. I would have loved to see a red one, and, uh, but with the white back on this jersey, again, who would have thought that uh, you make it like that, make an all red back, maybe there's some contrast. But I think this worked well. Uh, you had the very dark against the very light, and they also were wearing white pants. So therefore, I think this was a good matchup. Right, um, judging simply from the choice, I still don't like this jersey, especially with the red numbers. I don't like it. Nigeria-Iceland was probably the nicest matchup to look at in this group. And then here I was surprised, so we have already two wrong and I get another two wrong here. I was not very good with the Argentina matchups. I actually really thought that Argentina will play, will play in black here and Nigeria will play in this wonderful jersey. Seemingly the black here 
and the black in the Argentina jersey, there is too much black in there. Uh, can very well see FIFA going that way. Um, on the other side, such a traditional match of Argentina usually plays in their um, striped light blue and uh, white jerseys and with Nigeria in dark green. Uh, or green, not, not necessarily dark green. But I can remember in 2002, I think, Nigeria, Nigeria played in all light green. Horrible jersey, I thought, at the time. And still am a little bit. And Argentina played in their wonderful dark blue jerseys. That was the one match that Argentina won. And to top it all off, uh, I maybe should have seen this coming after what they did with Argentina. But I still didn't get why not the blue jersey here and the Croatia home jersey here. That's how they played in qualifying. Uh, it's absolutely a mystery to me. So here, Group D was very colorful, but I also got a lot of jersey matchups wrong. So this is 6 out of 12 that I missed. Well, let's hope I fared better in Group E. Well, I guess for one matchup I did and that matchup safety. So uh, we had Costa Rica against Serbia. Again, this looks pretty boring here. Fortunately, Costa Rica had blue pants here. Otherwise, uh, it would be all red affair. I could have fit right with uh, Panama. So there was a little bit more blue in there. Uh, Brazil, Switzerland both played in their uh, traditional jerseys. I put the 70% here because I thought uh, so often we have seen that a team in red playing against Brazil plays and suddenly in white. I'm happy that they let Switzerland play in red. And then the mystery one, uh, and I think it's probably down to the blue pants of Costa Rica. So they said, okay, you both, you both play in your away jerseys. And if you look at all the matchups, this matchup actually saved it color-wise for everyone. It's not the boring um, yellow-red matchup that we got here too. No, we have blue against white, which was uh, not something we would have expected here. Again, I don't like the... Costa Rica jerseys, to be honest with you. Moving on, we have here um, Serbia, Switzerland, as expected, as was Serbia against Brazil. I was a little bit nervous about the 99% here. Maybe they should have. I, I expected the white jersey, but um, then I thought about it, well, Serbia's at home, they will play the red, and then Brazil has nothing to do but to play in the yellow. Also, that they played in the 2015 Under-21 World Cup in this matchup made me quite confident, so that's why I went 99%, and this one was a no-brainer. So here, this is my best group so far. I only got one matchup wrong. Two out of 12. Group F. Group F is unique. There was no single repeat in jersey matchups. White, green, yellow, white, red, white, white, blue, green, yellow, red, green. There is not a single repeat. This is, in that sense, this was the most colorful group, and I was happy about it because there are also quite some nice, interesting jerseys. And then, of course, it's the group with the biggest upset with Germany. Starting out losing to Mexico in a classic matchup, like that one. Unfortunately, you can see with the 80%, I was not 100% sure about the red jersey, and that actually makes me wonder now about the Sweden Switzerland matchup. But I guess here the reason why they um, didn't uh, choose the red jersey is because they didn't want to have Korean white. Maybe it comes from from, from Federation. So here we have a yellow white matchup and. Yeah, it does make sense. It contrasts somewhat well. It wouldn't contrast well on a um, black and white TV, though. So this one I got wrong. Um, I was surprised about that one. I think red and white would have worked and actually would have looked better for Korea and actually would have made sense because we have white here and we have white here in the Korea jersey. That one was kind of a no-brainer. Uh, maybe part of me was hoping to see red versus green, but I understand. Uh, this is a very strong red, and then we have the dark green. If it was a light green, I could have probably seen this one happening. Um, Germany, Sweden. I was going back and forth, and you can see here the 50%. Um, 
at, I think it's the only prediction that I changed ahead of the uh, match. Um, a because I didn't want to go uh, too much to it. I mean, I don't. I didn't have all the time to think about it. But B because I usually trust my my predictions. Although, um, if I would have thought about a few, I would have gotten much less wrong. So we have here Germany, Sweden. I was in white versus blue, and I was actually hoping for for the blue. But uh, on the other side, Germany, Sweden. It's so much um, classic event they play in white against yellow. Um, and that is something that FIFA doesn't do as well as UEFA, I have the feeling. Uh, with UEFA you get much more classic color matchups. Um, very happy about the green versus yellow, and I said yesterday that the green versus yellow um, of Colombia against Senegal was the first time we saw it. No, I was wrong. Um, I didn't see it for the first time, because I, I saw it back then for the first time, because I didn't really see the Mexico-Sweden game. I just saw the highlights very, very late. Um, so in that sense, uh, it was not as much in my head, but yeah, my my mistake. And yes, it was also different because the Mexico is a little bit too dark in the green. And then, of course, the red versus green, this is still a little bit of a mystery to me. I think I understand it. If Korea plays in dark shorts, then you have to have white shorts here. Um, maybe Adidas could have made an all-white kit for Germany. That would have worked better. Uh, than the green kit. I mean, in the game watching it was not all, not all the problem, but I'm again thinking about the color contrast. Um, it might not have been the best, but then again, the uh, contrasting, the inverse color of red is green and of, uh, black is white, so in that sense it was the perfect contrast. But yeah, I got that one wrong. So how many did I get wrong here? One, two. That's not too bad. And it's Germany and Korea, so two out of twelve. The ones that I got wrong made this the most colorful group. Absolutely. Going from the most colorful to the second least colorful, all red white except for one stunner. Uh, fortunately, Panama had some blue here, and the Belgian jersey is not all red and boring. Uh, this one was uh, all white against all red, and then I expected the same thing in the Belgium Tunisia matchup, but no. We got Belgium in uh, yellow and black. I don't understand it, but especially uh, with, with the background that Denmark and Australia could, could not play in the same combination. But it made for a nice splash and I was happy to see the kit. And then here it's all white versus red. The blue pants of England, of course, save it, save those two matchups uh, as, as your will look. So again, this group don't have to do too much, I got too wrong. Again, can't I just get an entire group right? Seemingly not. So, here we have group H. At first I got everything absolutely correct. Uh, I was surprised about the blue pants, I actually did uh, a white pants here, uh, but you know, given with Japan in blue makes sense and at this moment I'm not sure I th always thought the Columbia kit comes with uh, blue pants because this would make so much sense in a way to me given that we have yellow, blue, red play in that play in these colors uh, but so far we have seen this yellow jersey only with white pants and I would expect that this trend continues Poland Senegal was um, exactly as expected then we have Japan Senegal also as expected. And then the only one that was a surprise is that Senegal played in white versus uh, in green versus yellow, but this was the matchup I was hoping for, so I'm not unhappy that I got again only uh, two out of twelve. I actually loved this matchup overall. Uh, this was uh, colorful and also loved this matchup. So Colombia matches were nice. Also, the Japan versus Colombia was also nice. Well, let's tally it all up. How many did I get wrong? I have four, uh, four eight, 12, add 6, 18, and another 6 is 24 errors. And now I need to make a calculation. Uh, 12, 48. eight. 
92, let's say. Now 96. 24 out of 96 is my hit rate, which is definitely not great. Uh, this is of course multiples of 12, so we have again, this is 2 divided by 8, yeah, well, not very happy, 25%. If I just, uh, if you hear me struggling now, this is uh, because although I am a statistician and mathematician, this doesn't mean I have good uh, calculating skills in my head, it just doesn't happen. Uh, I'm better with letters than with uh, numbers. So bear with me here. Two plus two plus two plus two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it all right. Divided by 96 is exactly 25% as I said it. Well, now I'm a little bit embarrassed, but I don't care too much because as I said, as a statistician, a mathematician, I am much better with numbers than uh, with uh, letters and doing those than I'm in with calculating things in my head and of and at this time of the day anyway I don't want to think that much anymore well let me know what you thought about all these jersey matchups which one did you like best um, I'm gonna remain that Senegal Colombia the Colombia matchups I pretty much all liked also like the Germany Sweden matchup uh, quite some but you know, if you had any other matchup that you liked, let, let me know. And did you make predictions for the jerseys? I'm so far the only one that would, uh, has, would do this officially that I know. But if you do that, please let me know. And I will talk to you soon with a preview of the second round. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.